Hey, Dominic, the CX guy here. Uh, so quick intro about myself. I'm Dominic. Uh, I've been a customer experience expert for the past 10 years, uh, Zenith consultant for the past eight years, and Zenith partner for the past two years. Today, we're going to be talking about um, chat and specifically how the Zopum chat interface looks like and the new interface, uh, which is uh, agent workspace, which is the future, by the way. So let's just jump into it. Share my screen. So this is the agent uh, uh, interface, support interface. I'm going to navigate to the chat uh, interface, which is provided by Zopin, but this is going to go away pretty soon. And this is working on a new edition. So let me guide you to the end user, end user experience and also the agent experience. So as an agent, I am here. I have to make myself available. So now I'm online. I'm going to navigate to my guide where I have my chat enabled. So I'm going to go here, activate it. Hi there. Okay, you can maybe recognize the sound. So I'm in the chat interface and therefore I am able to see the chat requests over here. I can work on them as, uh, as I please. Hi there, uh, what can we do? to help, et cetera. So I can treat my, uh, uh, my support requests uh, in the chat request in the chat interface. Fine and dandy, right? So now obviously I get my answer, thanks. I give it a positive or negative experience and then that's it. The agent can just uh, close um, the chat experience. Now, uh, the new edition, which is agent uh, agent workspace, which is the future again, uh, because Zendesk is working on it and is making it better and better by the day. Um, there are some limitations, but we're going to talk about this a little bit later. So now let's just switch on how you activate the agent workspace. So you go to settings, uh, admin settings, and then agents, and then I have to enable agent workspace. I save it. I have to switch the workspace. And now if I navigate to my chat, it tells me that an admin has changed my workspace and I have to revert back to a uh, revert to the new uh, experience, which is going to be uh, essentially, everything is going to happen in support. That's what uh, agent workspace is about. So instead of keeping two separate instances and two separate, uh, let's say login instances, then this is bringing everything together into one space, which is the agent workspace. So now um, exactly like before, I'm going to make myself available as an agent. I'm online, but I only do it from here, from this widget right now. Um, I am going to open a new instance. I'm going to close this one, to open a new one. And I'm going to request another chat. Chat with us. Hi, I need help. And then if I now get get back to my agent to uh, support interface, I can see that I have a chat request directly in my support interface, and I can accept it from here. And I can use my uh, use this interface to. Uh, to chat with my support age with my uh, requester. I can um, very easily apply macros. I can modify ticket properties. Um, I can follow up um, later on if I am not able to, um, to finish the ticket, like to uh, finish my support request. Um, I can also create custom apps, which I will demo a, um, an integration with a backend system where I can collect more information about the user so I can help them easier and solve the request faster. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see. Hi, sure thing. Thing we will help immediately. Good, now back to the end user experience. Yeah, so my agent is talking to me. Let's assume that that's it, that's it. <laughs> Very simplistic, uh, let's say, <laughs> resolution type. I end my chat, I end it. I can give a positive experience, skip that. Yeah, chat ended. All right, so 
same thing, just that the visitor left and they haven't given me a name, but I can also ask for a name. Um, I can also enable my, um, I can also enable my chatbot, but we'll go through that in another lesson. This is just to get you started, uh, like a very quick lesson. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, these types of lessons uh, more frequently. So yeah, you'll be able to see them on my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe because it's such a low subscribe rate because I haven't been posting much on this, but I will uh, start doing that on a more frequent basis. So thanks for watching.